Did you contest kilowatt six Quebec? Victor Echo Five, Echo India Sierra Eight One, El Dorado. <laughs> okay, this is the. Um... The rig I just uh, purchased. And, um, the station you hear is in uh, California. K6 Quebec. And, and uh, I just made a contact with them using uh, 60 watts of power with my uh, inverted. Uh, G5 RV. The um, it's uh, oh, I used a uh, my 705 microphone with no battery, so uh, he heard me the first time. He gave me a 5.8 and. Um, so far so good with this uh, radio. I haven't tried it on CW yet, but if it works on phone, it'll work on CW. I, uh, what you hear right now is uh, 2400 hertz and um, There's no, I don't have a tuner on here. The, uh, the antenna, the G5 RV is basically tuned up pretty good to uh, uh, 20 meters on this frequency, phone frequencies. And um, I didn't have no problem at all. I'm quite pleased with the, with the purchase. And um, I had a problem with it. Uh, I'm assuming it was cigarette smell, but uh, I've about got that gone. I have a little fan on it right now, it's blowing in on the uh, back side of it where the uh, power transistors are. And uh, I figure I got it about more than 50% gone, the, the smell. I took the top cover off, the bottom cover off. Just double checking it to make sure the smell wasn't uh, burning electric, uh, Bravo electrical two, components, and I couldn't off. find absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, this thing contains voice. I mean, oh, here. Okay, somebody came out. The call sign again. Is it Whiskey Bravo 1 Delta Zulu? 1, 4, point two, two, seven, zero, zero. I don't know if you heard that. Turn it down. One four point two two seven zero zero. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? This um, it has the uh, guile chip in it, which gives you um, even seconds on the clock. It uh, gives you a bunch of other stuff too. I I don't have the. Uh, the operating instructions for the guile chip yet I gotta locate some so I don't really know how much it could do but um, it's got an FM card in it and I have absolutely no idea what it's for I mean I know it's for FM right down here's the button but I don't know anything out here that uh, you could use it with Maybe AM, I don't know. But uh, it's got the uh, 232 interface card in, in it. But, and I have, the, I have the program for it, but I have to type it in. And it's quite long. And I don't really know how to do that. I want to wait for my... Uh, kid to come over and maybe he can, he's an uh, engineer, he, he knows this computer stuff. And um, what else? I got the guile chip, the voice 
module, 232 interface card, FM. I got all the filters. Uh, so um, I think I have all the accessories with it. I also got the um, the plug and cable for the uh, interface, but the darn thing's only about four feet long, and I'd have to put it uh, by my computer if I wanted to use it. If if I can use it, I don't know that I can. They say you can use them on Macintosh and uh, IBM type computers, and. Um, I guess it'll work, but I don't know if I have the uh, patience to type all that stuff in. I'll see if I can maybe download it in. I mean, um, copy it and then somehow force it in there. I'll check with somebody that's computer smart. Anyway, the power supply, 961. All this. And... Um, Oh yeah, I do have, a, they, I got a, a microphone, uh, 8KAI, I think that's the name of it. It's a pencil type microphone, I mean a hand microphone, and it's got a, a foot switch on it. But uh, I chose to use my 705, it's made for the rig. And uh, anyway, that's it. Oh, all right, let's see. Go back. You can listen to uh, see how CW is. I got the uh, RF gain about three quarters up. That's full speed. I guess I could show you a few more things on it, but um, uh, got to have the RF gain turned all the way pretty much up a little bit to get the meter to read. But um, I can't see anything wrong with it. Anyway, that's it for now.